I will be walking us through a quick demonstration using NASA Earth Data Image Services in Python, focusing in on the prediction of worldwide energy resources, commonly known as power, and its annual meteorology data set. I will be primarily relying on the ArcGIS API for Python, but we'll take a moment to acknowledge some of the other potential libraries folks may utilize for visualization and analytics. Most workflows performed by other demonstrators prior to this demo today can be largely replicated programmatically in some way, shape, or form in their respective software or web platforms. Some services, such as, in the, one, such as the one in the sample today, also have separate APIs that can be called upon using their own schema. For today's data demo, we will be taking a look at sea surface temperature at seven locations around the world and plot their data across over 40 years. We will do this by pinging the NASA Power Annual Meteorology Datasets Earth Skin Temperature Parameter, which I will now walk through using a Jupyter Notebook. Getting started, we are going to take a look at the parameter information to familiarize ourselves with the structure of this data set. We collect multi-dimensional information from the REST endpoint's capabilities using the Python library requests, which returns a JSON that has most of the numerical data in a non-geospatial format including descriptive variable metadata, dimensions, and values. We start using requests for the sake of sampling some different ways to access this data, but this information could also easily be acquired using the ArcGIS API for Python to access the slices class of the imagery layer object, which we'll be doing again in a moment. Now let's parse through this information to make it a little bit more human readable. Here we dug up all the parameters with their long names and measurement units. The Power Project has both annual and monthly versions for a whole spread of climate, radiation, and meteorological parameters. Again, we'll be looking at Earth's skin surface temperature, known as TS from here on out. As we see in the data by building out another request URL, we have 41 slices starting in the early 80s. To find information on these years, we're going to query specific slices on the imp out inputs outlined there this time using our ArcGIS API for Python via that imagery layer object, which you can see the output of in that white below. Finally, we can get to querying the data that we need. We drill down to the appropriate slice information and slices, and then convert epic time to get our year and how we commonly reference it. The primary query we're gonna be doing here is the identify function on the imagery layer as highlighted there, which is similar to what you would do in any Git capabilities identify function. We call the lats and lawns from our dictionary that we previously built, convert from Kelvin to Celsius, and make a quick data frame with our result data. Finally, we take this data and throw it into a matplotlib plot to see our results. Now, obviously this is a pretty cursory scan, but hopefully it gives an idea as to the potential of some of this data and where we could go from here to dig in more detail on specific areas of interest. Now I've alluded to a few other libraries that we can use to access this data. Here we use the ArcGIS API, which loads a lot of that REST endpoint information, but you could use to get capabilities from an image relay layer and could hard code requests just like as shown here, if you prefer to test this in a GUI before converting it over to Python. Here are a few additional access methods across web and software platforms that demonstrate the interoperability with several off the shelf and open source libraries. Modules such as ArcPy and QGIS can be used in, with their respective ArcGIS Pro and QGIS platforms. Data can also be loaded and filtered using pandas functions on GeoData frames via XArray or SQL functions if that is your preferred data access method. For all of these, documentation and tutorials have been published with more in development as needed based on community feedback and challenges. With that, I will turn this back over to Genevieve to uh, give us a roadmap.